Hey everybody, Ann here, and today I'm going to try and fix my own solar fried charge controller thingy. A guy named Luke Fugit came onto my channel, gave me some advice on how I might be able to remedy my situation, at least temporarily. So I'm going to go back and read his instructions and see if I can figure it out and make my solar panels charge again. Okay, here's my charge controller. This is where the other connector went to, and I'm assuming that Luke is talking about this right here. I need to get the two little wires into this correctly. All right, so I want gone ahead and cut the top off, uh, that little connector that went in there. Um, I kind of, you know, uh, stripped the wires in a lame sort of a way, but I mean, they're stripped. I may need to strip a little bit more off of there. Um, I need to undo these little thingies here, stick these in, and uh, then reconnect it from here. Here's my question. I don't know which is positive and which is negative. Um, Luke said for me to get a one of those little thingies where you can check it, multimeter or something like that. Um, I don't want to spend any money, so I line these up like this which side is positive and which side is negative. I'm thinking this is positive and this is negative, but I'm not positive. So I guess I need to do a little research on the internet to find out which is which. Huh. Okay, I could not find anything that tells me which end is gonna be positive and which end is gonna be negative. However, I do have a Harbor Freight, and this whole setup is Harbor Freight, a connector kit and it comes with the exact same solar connector thingy. I don't know what do you call it. Um, this is to hook something directly up to the battery. And it tells me which one. So this one is going to be positive. So whatever side lines up with this over here should be positive. The other is negative. So I am going to see if this works. Um, yeah, I do have the solar panels covered up, so hopefully I don't totally screw everything up. Let's see if I can figure it out. Okay, screwing this one out. Now let me unscrew this one. Might have to put this down. Kind of hard to do it with one hand. Yeah. All right, let me get these unscrewed and get the little wire shoved in and see what happens. Line this up positive negative that's positive that's negative positive negative I've made sure I haven't twisted this wire so for hopefully the one on the left is positive the one on the right is negative Whew, wish me luck guys all right I'm gonna shot try and shove it in there and let me see sorry Get them both in at the same time. Come on, guys. Come on. Go in. Go in. There we go. All right, contact is made. All I have to do is screw them in. God, I need to learn how to focus. Hopefully it'll work. We're going to see in a minute. All right, let me just get this one. Screwed in a little bit better. Oh, is it good enough? Let's see. Yeah, that feels pretty secure. Okay, now I just need to hook it up and uncover one of the solar panels and see if anything starts charging. If I did this, I am going to be so freaking amazed. Okay, I've got these reconnected and I have my little stripped wires into the appropriate place. Positive, uh, positive, negative. See, that's a little solar panel thing. That's if you want to... Um, hook additional solar panels onto your charge controller instead of just putting it through here. And uh, I put one of the 25 watt Harbor Freight solar panels up on the roof. Um, I've got four of them in all, so 100 watts. And let's see, it worked. Oh my god, I can't believe I fixed it myself. Now of course I am definitely still, whoops, out of focus, definitely still going to get an MPPT charge controller, one that's uh, a little bit heavier duty than this. I think this may only be, I don't know, 20, 20, maybe 30, no, 
well, I don't know. It can't handle a whole lot of power. So it is working. Luke, thank you so much. I'm going to put a link to your channel down in the description below. You seem to know a little bit about just about everything. You seem to know a little bit about just about everything, basically. So yay. I feel so awesome. I fixed something. Uh, and I know, like I said, I know that this is not going to be a long-term solution, but at least I can charge my batteries until I get a better charge controller. Woohoo! I feel empowered. So, I needed to be able to do that today. I need a little confidence booster, and it does boost my confidence when I'm able to fix something or do something, you know, on my own. Um, of course, Luke, thank you very much. You did help me do this. Um, and it's just such a small thing that you... You and many other people take for granted, but for me, that's way out of my comfort zone. Um, so I needed that little bit of confidence booster, that that little something that just kind of proved to me that, yep, I can do this. You know, I can take care of myself, and I'm going to be just fine. And uh, where this whole, uh, you know, kind of like emotional vlog is coming from now, is I got a, I got a phone call last night, uh, a couple phone calls actually. Uh, about a family member, and um, you know, as always happens in my family. Oh my goodness, my, my hair is terrible. As always happens in my family, drama ensues. People say things they don't need to say. They react in ways that don't they don't need to react. Um, they don't listen, <laughs> and uh, they only care about their own feelings and their own self. They don't honor. Well. For one, they don't honor my wish, wishes with, you know, what I want to hear, who I want to be in contact with, who I don't want to be in contact with. I've made myself very clear to various family members. And, uh, well, I guess there's a couple who uh, just don't want to honor that wishes, uh, that wish, and they just want to impose um, their views on me. Um, and these are very destructive views. And, um... You know, they kind, of, they kind of forget history. They forget the awful things that people have done. So, you know, I've actually had to write a couple family members off. I've had to cut them loose. It hurts. It hurts me to my core. Because I'd like to have a wonderful, cool, awesome, close family. But with the people, the people in mind, it doesn't happen. You know, just, this should take, this should teach you all a lesson what I'm saying right now about my families. Don't set yourself up to a, be a doormat because then you're going to end up 54 years old and still a doormat. People won't stop treating you that way just because you have your own feelings. Yeah, so being able to take care of this little situation on my own today was important to me. It, uh, it made me smile. It made me happy. Yeah, it made me happy. Even though I've lost so much in my family, I'm still able to take care of myself and do cool things. I just had a taco. Well, in other words, long story short, my feelings matter, my thoughts matter, my opinions matter, just as much as everybody else's. And that's that. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.